welcome back to a new video um, well here we are again already in Barcelona I have to wait for my colleague to open the gate the truck is parked uh, back there but uh, yeah back uh, back at the truck unfortunately after only four and a half days uh, at home um, yeah it, uh, it kind of sucks <laughs> to be already on the road but uh, yeah that's it um, yeah now uh, yeah just yeah wait a little bit uh, until uh, my colleague gets here and then uh, yeah we're on the road to Portimao uh, I think 1300 kilometer drive from here so yeah it's quite a drive but at least it's a, it's a nice drive through Spain All right, and here we are in uh, Portimao after two nights, one in uh, Valencia and one in Huelva. Uh, yeah, well, we are here. It's uh, quite a drive, almost 1300 kilometers. And as you can see, it's very, very windy here. So I'm sorry for the noise, but uh, I hide under the grandstand. Hide from the wind a little bit, but uh, yeah, it's a long trip. And um, yeah, now uh, we're almost ready to go parking. It's almost two o'clock and we're one of the first to park. And then, yeah, just uh, yeah, watch the trucks again. And for tomorrow, 
the rest of the team will arrive and then we set up the pit box. Yeah, but for now, let's uh, watch the truck and uh, see you guys tomorrow. Very good morning. Uh, today it's already Thursday. The trucks are parked and washed, and uh, everything is clean. And uh, the pit box is already set. The crates are unpacked, which is quite a big job coming from overseas to like a European race. You have to unpack all the crates and pack the truck again and set up the pit box and make sure everything is in the in the right place again. But that's all done. Uh, rain tires already fitted. They expect a little bit of rain this weekend, but uh, yeah, it is what it is for now. It's very nice weather. No more wind because uh, we had so much wind the last few days. And uh, yeah, the, now I go uh, a little bit earlier to Michelin for the tires again, like every Thursday. <laughs> and uh, after that, yeah, still a big job in the pit box. So uh, let's go. So here we are back in the hotel, I just had a little shave and a shower and um, yeah, this weekend was really difficult, uh, it started off with a lot of wind and uh, well that turned into a lot of rain, uh, Friday and Saturday was like completely rained out, uh, actually it just yeah, got a little bit drier towards qualifying and then today also uh, still quite overcast and uh, in the end we could do the race on slicks but uh, yeah we had our spare bike ready for the wet and and yeah also moto 2 had a little bit of rain as well so yeah in the end not a typical Argarve weather but uh and now actually is really really beautiful let me change the camera I mean, this is from the hotel it's like absolutely beautiful weather now so that's uh, one of the 
many golf courses the Algarve has and yeah this one is really nice I did not play on it myself but uh, it really looks really nice anyway uh, now I'm on my way uh, to see some friends in Portimao and then tomorrow we uh, start driving to Jerez um, not that early and we think we're gonna leave the hotel at 10 30. of course we're gonna uh, lose an hour going back to Spain and then uh, I think we go straight to the truck wash and then uh, we should have the Tuesday morning off as well before we park and well, we'll do the same thing over again. So uh, yeah, well, let's see what uh, Heras brings. Hopefully a whole lot better than here in Potimao. And here we are in beautiful Arcos de la Frontera. Uh, it's 12 o'clock and it's absolutely beautiful weather now. Um, I decided to go for just a little walk around the hotel and uh, just stretch the legs a little bit and yeah, have some off time. And then uh, at 1.30 we go to the track and well, obviously they start parking again at 2. So, and we're one of the first, it's first HRC. And then Repsol and then us, so I think uh, 2.30, more or less, we can go uh, and park. Then it's just unpacking because we did the truck wash yesterday already and uh, don't think we're going to make it late today uh, because uh, yeah, the rest of the team will arrive tomorrow, so tomorrow we set up the pit box. And then, uh, yeah, let's see. <laughs> uh, we, do the, we do the weekend and uh, hopefully we get a little bit better results uh, here than in, uh, in Portimao.
back in the hotel. Um, yeah, the truck is parked. Everything is clean. We unloaded the truck already, uh, put down the carpet, and yeah, that was it. Um, yeah, the rest we do tomorrow when the rest of the team arrives. And uh, yeah, we went back to the hotel. Um, I think I was back at six o'clock. Took a little swim, still a little bit cold, but uh, yeah, it's good to yeah to also relax a little bit. Uh, bear in mind, it's not that I'm on holiday or anything, because yeah, my my colleagues, uh, well, a lot of my colleagues are at home still at the moment. They arrive tomorrow again. So, but yeah, just the, the moments to try to relax a little bit is uh, is precious. So yeah, I took full advantage of that and uh, yeah, I used the pool here. And uh, now we go to the restaurant, uh, have some uh, great uh, Andalusian food. And then uh, yeah, tomorrow we set up the pit box, like I said, and um, yeah, start the weekend again. So uh, for now, let's go and eat and uh, see you guys later. So in the end, uh, yeah, not a big job today. Um, yeah, the bike's almost done and my tires are done, so I decided to clean my rims on the truck. Yeah, occasionally you have to do this. The last time was like two years ago, so it was long overdue, but uh, I'm no uh, car detailer, but I'm pretty happy with the result. Uh, just grab my stuff in the backpack to take to the hotel. Yeah, I'm gonna wear and stuff. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, tonight we go to Michelin. Uh, we have a dinner there, like um, more or less once a year. We're invited uh, to go to Michelin Hospitality to uh, yeah, have dinner with our crew and uh, also some engineer from Michelin and uh, the head of motorsport. So yeah, just uh, yeah, to have a little bit of a nice conversation and, uh, and a good meal. So that's, uh, that's really nice and uh, yeah, after that uh, we go to the hotel. Um, yeah, today, Friday, we had a pretty good day. We finished in the top 10 and uh, yeah, hopefully for tomorrow we can uh, yeah, continue like this and then uh, yeah, have, a, have a good result. And, uh, let's see, let's see what the, the Saturday and Sunday brings, but for now. Let's go eat. Uh, was only 16 laps for us. Tak had a huge crash uh, in turn one, and uh, well, he went to the first medical center here. Luckily, this one showed no uh, no uh, broken bones, uh, but he went for uh, for a double checkup in uh, Barcelona, so he went straight on a plane to Barcelona, and we uh, yeah start preparing the bike for Le Mans already, and uh, well after that uh, start uh, packing everything in the, in the truck. So now it's 8 o'clock, uh, I already showered, the truck is all full and I parked here where the motor, motors, motorcycles I parked here where the motorcycles parked and um, yeah, uh, it's, it's rather empty, you see some trucks there in the background but uh, yeah, uh, I tried to get a quick sleep because I'm planning to leave at 3 a.m. Uh, that way I can drive until more or less 3 p.m. Uh, then I have to sleep for nine hours or rest for nine hours. And then 12 o'clock at night I'm gonna start again 
and then push to Le Mans. This is all because I want to get, get a train at 2 o'clock from Le Mans back home uh, because it's already been two and a half weeks and uh, yeah I want to I wanna go back to my family and um, yeah uh, get a little bit of time there uh, it's again only I think five days before I have to leave again for Lema but uh, yeah I don't want to think about it just now for now uh, yeah I uh, try to get some sleep here and I see you guys tomorrow morning ciao Okay, so that's the, the trip done. Uh, it's been a long two and a half weeks and uh, I'm here at the parking in Le Mans. I made it and uh, now I'm going in the train first to Paris and then to another station in Paris. And then I go by, also by train to Schiphol and then uh, another train to my house. So uh, yeah, it's been a long, uh, long trip like I said um, and uh, I really hope you guys like this video again. If you did, uh, for sure uh, put a thumbs up and uh, don't uh, forget to subscribe as well. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.